Hi everybody, welcome to this free to play master walkthrough. Going to show you the best out of uh, both my master accounts in the mini. Starting with hole one, I'm going with a berserker. Now bear in mind you will need APOC 5, I believe here, for 240 yard power. Driver, 16.1 wind is very good. If you have, I would think, less than 15, you may not bounce. You know, you may not clear the rough. I had 14 with my main account, did not make it. I clipped the rough and rolled out and got a uh, thorn for the eagle. However, you might want to switch to a wind zero ball if you have a lower wind here. I just max plus 10, then I push back up to max, going with two bars of right spin, but what I do need to do here is go with one bar of top spin, because we do end up a little bit short. Going with pretty much full curl, I believe, maybe just a fraction off, a minor great right, but we still bounce. And you'll see here, look at the bounce point, just over there so like i said we need a high wind with berserker if not switch to a globe and you've got a very makeable wedge hole number two uh, this is my main account second look at this hole sticking with the sniper at max distance go with some top spin here which i do tweak in a minute and some left spin as well because i did miss right on the first attempt setting up at max distance with the white ring touching the rough See the top right there, bit of top spin, bit of left spin. Adjustment here is max plus 25. So max distance plus 25. And this one does have a decent line on it. We hit perfect. However, we are just a little bit short, so I would increase the top spin, maybe another 0.2 or 0.3 bar of top spin. We do have room on the bounce before the fringe, so we're not gonna get the glitch roll, I don't think. But just a little bit short there but we've got something to work with with the sniper uh, this one is my second account so the junior account apoc 5 uh, i'm going with all the top spins that's 5.8 top spin three right spin however i do need to move my aim point one ring to the right here and you'll see why in a moment i'm stretching out there's the blue ring at rest position touching the rough i just max plus 10 spin the camera around to get the rest of the rings done here because the rocks are in the way then we're going to go with full right curl and four rings of overpower centurion is good if you want to spend a centurion just have less wind against you there minor great right but this is okay however just look at the bounce point there we do have plenty of room and we just make it across so i would move at least one ring to the right, even more if you feel like it. However, 360 yards, we've got a shot with the Cataclysm. You do need a 180-yard wood club just in case you are short with the drive. My main account, um, I still needed to aim more to the right, and I didn't put enough curl on with the drive, even with APOC 7. I rolled into the rough just on the top left of the fairway. However, if that does happen to you, you can still reach the island with in the, the uh, Nirvana and bounce over with some top spin. Just make sure you're quite far away from the bunker because the wind may well push you into the bunker. But at worst, you've got a chance with um, you know an end bringer to save the eagle if you do roll long into the rough on your drive. Bit of overpower needed here. Just make sure you get over there. And for free to play, you know this is all about just getting it over to the green. Uh, the adjustment here I think was maximum distance uh, plus 10, but look at that wind push. We do need to just offset to the right there, but either way, it's a makeable end bringer for an eagle. Uh, second look at this hole, par um, 3, this is hole number 4. Playing with the quarterback, 5.2 bars of backspin and half a bar side spin to the left. Red ring touching the rough there, bottom left of the red ring touching the rough. Look at the second bounce, smack bang in the middle of the fringe. Adjust here, max plus 25. Max plus 25. Which is, I think, 14.7 or 14.8 rings. Don't worry about dropping down there. We'll be okay. And just take our shot. Now this is a very, very safe birdie, I feel. Tricky hole. But, you know, quarterback and kingmaker for free to play. This is a very nice attempt. And like I said, we just bounce very comfortably over there. Would be interesting to 
tweak the backspin slightly, see if we can get a better roll down to the pin. But that's an easy birdie putt. Hole 5, I didn't get a good drive either time, so apologies for that. But I'm going to show you my first attempt. I do feel with a tweak, this will be good. It's quite a technical one. I'm going for the double bounce over the bunker. Two bars of top spin is what I go with, I think. And three bars of left spin looks like two and a half top. Just a little bit of the red ring in the rough there. Sorry, a little bit of the red ring on the fairway. Adjustment is max plus 10. Now, take note here with the wind strength. With stronger winds, you are going to just further down into the ravine. So this is something I did not account for in the shot, and I should have done. I'm pushing back up to max, but I did need to go with some overpower here just to clear the bunker, as you will see. Going with half a ball of left curl, we did not. We needed to add some more overpower. If you go with a Centurion, you will not adjust as far down, so you may not need as much overpower. But look at that. Just another ring, ring and a half of OP would have been okay there. So something to work with, at least. From there, of course, you would then have, assuming your drive goes okay, uh, a Max Sniper with top spin, Or a 180 yard wood club to the green. Hole number six, APOC 5 here I'm showing you. You obviously will make it over there easily with an APOC 6 or 7 with more topspin, but just to show you, it can be done with the APOC 5. Admittedly, this is clipping the rough and rolling out, but it's still going to give you a birdie. So max topspin, a little bit of right spin, adjust maximum distance plus 10%, even though we are not at max. Look at how many rings of overpower we adjust into. What I fail to do here is add another ring on. I do think we need to add at least one more ring of overpower, if not two, because you'll see here we bounce but we just clip the rough, and even though we roll out, it would be nicer um, to bounce a little bit more clearly over the rough. And I would suggest maybe even aiming a little bit further to the right as well, so you have less rough to clear. Second shot here, obviously we want to be rolling further on the fairway, in which case the Grizzly or the B-52 would be better. But I'm going for a min sniper here. Very difficult to hit perfect with the sniper in Master. Second shot. Problem here, even though I just min plus 15, is that I do not have my ball guide sufficiently through the hole because the wind effect here is pretty decent on the second bounce. So make sure you've got your ball guide going a lot more through the hole than me. Sadly, we do hit a great right as well here, but even with a perfect, we would have come up short. So a bit more overpower on the drive will leave you in a better placement for the second shot here. Just take the birdie. This is going to be very, very difficult to get an eagle on with this wind direction anyway. Hole number seven had a very good attempt here on my first look, playing with the sniper. Now, here I go with five bars of backspin and one bar of side spin to the right. The speed is good. I do feel we need a little bit more right spin. However, the second bounce is going to be wind dependent, so you may want to tweak the right spin according to what wind you have. We have 11.4 here. Add the spins, blue ring, top right of the blue ring touching the rough. And just pause the video, check the landing point. Look, second bounce just at the beginning of the fringe there. The adjust here is mid plus 20. Mid plus 20. Now it may look like we're going to miss way to the left, but the wind push will take us in towards the pin. So don't go with any curl. Hit perfect. And this does come in very, very nicely. We just need to tweak it slightly here. As I said, check the wind, but look at that. A little bit less, uh, sorry, a little bit more side spin to the right. Maybe a click less back spin would have been very, very nice there. Hole 8, my second attempt here. First time I went for the layup option with the QB and then went with long iron. But here I decide to go aggressive with my main account. I do think higher level APOC is best here. I'm going with a berserker and I'm risking the double bounce. Loads of top spin and a couple of bars of left spin. I'm adjusting here max plus 10. Starting at plus 21 yards is a good reference there if you want to have a go at this. But we're going to need some overpower so... Not many seconds left on the clock. Right edge of the ball touching the outer wall of the adjustment ring to the left. And we're going with overpower. We do hit a minor great ball here. However, look at this. It's worth a go in my opinion. Just clearing the sand. A little bit more overpower would have been really nice there. But you've still got a very makeable wedge for the eagle on hole number eight. 
And finally on to hole nine. I'm going with a Titan here. Kind of wished with my main account. I should have tried it with a Berserker as well. Um, but we hit a great left on the main, so it, it took me further away for the second shot. I've still got my Eagle, though. Max top spin, half a bar side spin to the right. If you've got a Zerker, that will help as well. Obviously, I'm going with the Titan because I want a little bit more of the wind push. Just aiming slightly left of center, just in case the wind pushes us to the right. And also, hopefully, a great right would be okay, as long as it's a minor one. Adjust max plus 10, push up to max. I go with a few rings of overpower here as well, which I would suggest if you don't have the top spin with higher level Apox. But like I said, you could also go Berserk, get a bit more distance as well. Perfect ball, and we're looking anything over 400 yards, you're going to be okay. And with the second shot, just go with the wood club that you feel most comfortable with. If you are worried about your drive being short, go with the uh, Cataclysm or, um, you know, Big Dog even. Horizon could work as well for the ball guide, or high level guardian if you've got it near 180 yards. I have the sniper in here, so we're just going to get safely to the green in two. Uh, I'm ending up adjusting from stretched out position, I adjust max plus 10. Like I said, if you uh, do push your drive a bit harder, you're obviously not going to have to stretch out here to adjust. The one thing I need to do here, though, even though we're going with two bars of right spin is I need to use a little bit more right curl. I would go with one ball of curl to the right rather than half a ball. You'll see here, with a great right as well, uh, we just park up on the left-hand side. So go with a, a decent amount more curl, but that's a wedge we're going to make all day and every day for an eagle. Hope this helps you. Don't forget you may need to tweak according to your balls and club levels, but hopefully it gives you something to work with if you are going free-to-play in Master. Good luck!